Listen, man, welcome to a new season of Where's Wallow, man. It's going down, man. I got the one, the only, the butcher. Ah. Buffalo, listen, man, Buffalo's finest, man. Benny the butcher, man. I'm telling you right now, we talking to the big dog. Got the new project out, Def Jam. Everybody can't go, it's coming soon. Yes, sir. How was the journey? See, because a lot of people said, Griselda, what they on? They on some back in the day shit. It's not going to work. Eh, 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 eh. Y'all bigger than ever. Right, right, right. How do it feel? Man, you know, my daughter asked me that today. It, it feels great knowing that I put in the work for it and knowing that I wasn't handed it, knowing that I put in the pain for it. Yeah. It's a different type of feeling, you know what I'm saying? And what is the work? What, what do the work consist of? Man, honestly, I gave my whole life to this. I put this before my family. I put this before my children at times. Uh, I, I, I knew it was my place. I put, I put this before my ego. I put this before my pride. You know, I, I just fell in my pocket. A lot of things that people not prepared to do. That's why people, a lot of people don't make it here because you know this shit, you gotta put everything aside and, and chase what you want. Today is the first day that you ever had a major label release with Big Dog featuring Lil Wayne, you know what I mean, Tunchi. So it's like, that's major. Your Very. first release with him, you on Spotify, 2.2 million monthly listeners. And that's all independent work because the music ain't even getting in the system yet for real. Right, it right, starts right, showing right, right. what the, the numbers is doing. Mm -hmm. How did you build that up? How did you build your following up? How did you build the movement up? Because Griselda as a whole got a movement, but each one of y'all got your own thing going right, on. Right, right, right. And that's important because a lot of people think West Side Gun said, yo, this is my little cousin Benny, listen to him. And, no. and it happened, F no. Man, my, my Spotify page, it, it was artists who I know who was doing shows, who I know who had a green light to go to their shows. Yeah. And I was just going to their shows just to get that picture, even if I was performing or not. I remember when Uncle Murder came, came to Binghamton in 20, this had to be 2016, and I was already on fire in the city. I just took that three hour drive, because I f***ed with Murder, just to take the picture, just so I could post it so people could see that I'm working. All little type of shit like that. It's just keep your foot, keep your foot in the game, keep your foot in the door, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? So, built that Spotify page up from nothing. And that's one of my most proudest accomplishments, my Spotify page, my YouTube page. It's just that I built up from nothing. When both of them was at 10,000, I felt successful already, you know what I'm saying? Now, uh, YouTube at 330, Spotify at 2.2, like you said, and just grinding. And but you but you talking about two platforms, what is the importance of them platforms? Well, it's, definitely, it's definitely important, because everybody, iTunes this, iTunes that. Don't forget there's Tidal, there's Amazon Music, and, and, and it's YouTube. Artists, build your YouTube channel up. Build your YouTube channel up. Stop worrying about just Instagram, <laughs> you know what I mean? Stop worrying about going to get that fit just to post on Instagram. Build your YouTube page up. And I did that just by putting out content, anything. I remember like going shopping with my wife and she taking so long, so I'm in the park a lot and I just do a video. I had, I had her daughter shoot the video, my stepdaughter. I had her shoot the video on how I started BSF, just talking about it, just to see, just to see what my, connection was like, just to see how many views it got. And what did it do? It did good. That shit like at a half a million now. Some shit I shot. And she it. shot this with a phone? Yeah, and a phone in a, stro in a parking lot of strokers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just, you just was on it. Now, now, you know, Griselda, you know, these too old. Mm -hmm. They from Buffalo. Mm -hmm. That's different than New York, New York. Mm -hmm. How did y'all just kept fighting through all the, all the naysayers, all the hate? You know what I mean? For one, Somebody asked me that today. For one, we just knew we was good at it. If you good at something, no matter what kind of traction you getting, excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm a trapper. I'm, a, I'm an ex-drug dealer, three-time yeah. felon. You know what I'm saying? Been a state prison, been a federal prison. I, I, I bring everything back to drug dealing. If you good dope, sell itself. We yeah. all know that. Yeah. I just knew I was good at it. Wes knew he was good at it. Conway knew he was good at it. So even if we weren't getting the kind of traction we were looking for, hoping, for, praying for, we knew we was good at it. And we knew one day if we stay at it, one day it'll come. You feel what I'm saying? So just staying at it. You know what I mean? Dri driving them, the nail in the coffin. You know what I'm saying? But you an Emmy Award winner, Grammy nominated artist. Yeah. How do that feel? Like, you know, because the game, like, you know, prices change when Grammy nominated coming to. Talk like, about it. The prices change, and, you know, yesterday's price ain't today's price. So it changed. How do that feel to know you won an Emmy and then you're a Grammy nominated? Mm -hmm. Man, I want y'all to think in your head and, and name me which rapper you know with an Emmy. Exactly. 
it means everything to me. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 kind, it kind of almost, I know I earned it, but I won it over Eli Manning and, and Derek Jeter. Kind of feel like I, 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 I grinched it. I, yeah. I took it. It's just the culture. You know, the co you know, our culture is worth everything. Our yeah. culture drives everything. So it feels good and it feels like the proof is in the pudding. You know what I'm saying? Emmy, Emmy winning, a Grammy nominated. It just feel like uh, I'm doing the right thing. I'm moving in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you went in to make this album, what was on your mind? Because the title is extremely powerful. Everybody can't go. Mm -hmm. What was on your mind? What, what experience you went through from Benny the Butcher trying to come up out of Buffalo to now Benny the Butcher, you know, um, highly streamed artist, popular artist, Grammy nominated. What, what was the journey about that for made you just to be in your mindset that everybody can't go? Man, on this journey, I gave a lot to everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know how it would be. Like, you, you, you were given, when, when you're blessed to have things, you would give somebody $5,000 or $10,000, and they'd be like, that little, you know, like, that little, like, yeah, you ain't never gave me nothing. But that journey is, I gave everything to it, and, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I f with everybody, and I try to pull everybody up. So everybody can't go is about the people who I tried to pull up who didn't adhere to the opportunity, because that's what I did. Imagine, imagine me calling Westside Gun Phone trying to borrow money. Imagine me calling Westside Gun Phone trying to do shit that was outside of music. Even though that's my blood cousin. Him and my mama is first cousins. Him and my brother is first cousins. That, I wouldn't be here. That would have been cut me off. Like, oh, that, that is a needy. I, I can't deal with him. So, and you had to, get, had to give everything for this. And that journey is about, you know, I'm from a hood. I'm from Montana Avenue. It's a hood where, Com camaraderie comes from. Yeah. And a lot of people feel like I owe them something. Not even from the hood. I, I say that to say I'm from the hood because I'm from a place where we all stick together. So a lot of people feel like my success is theirs and it is in a certain way. Mm -hmm. But you know, when, when, you know, you share your wins with people, but you don't share your losses with people. You feel what I'm saying? So everybody can't go is about me, me not even really sharing the wins no more. To be honest with you, to be frank with you, you know what I'm saying is that I'm being selfish at this point, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I gave a lot of myself up because I felt guilty. You know that survivor's remorse yeah. when we come from the projects and, and we have these things and we're allotted these opportunities. I feel guilty for it. So I try to put people in certain positions that I knew they weren't ready for. You understand? So it's about all of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm on what I'm on. And, 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 if, you can't, and if you can't get with that, if you're not happy just for me being where I'm at and not about what you can get out of it, you. All right, now it seemed like when, when you when you survive, the side effects of success is once nobody can use you no more, you fake, you Hollywood. I can't, mm -hmm. And it's not about the, the the 15 or the the 22 cash at request that you said yes to. Right, right, right. Now when you say no, you're not real. And did did you go through that struggle? Man, hell yeah, hell yeah. I don't. You know what I done did? You know what I'm saying? I don't gotta run it down. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm 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 that guy. You know. It's, it's certain people who who done favors for me before I was in, in the shoes that I'm in now, but I done everything that I could to 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 to, to make it even or feel like I'm fucking with you to feel like I'm trying to help you. But you know what I'm saying? It, you know what's different? This is a different type of hustle, you know? Yeah. This ain't standing on a corner selling dimes. This ain't running up in people raving a gun. This is a different type of hustle where your mind need to be right, uh, your attitude need to be right, energy, your environment, energy, your ego need to be in check. This is a different type of hustle, and a lot of people from where we from can adapt to that. And it's not our fault. It's just, it is what it is. Now, when you went into making this album, right, mm -hmm. who, you know, who's on the production? Any features you want to talk about or you want to save them and surprise the people? Uh, I definitely want to tell them about Alchemist and Derringer on the production. Those guys been my producer. They've been there from day one. Day one, you know what I'm saying? And uh, those guys who, who, who groom me, who give back when I'm in the studio. It's not like they give me a beat and I go in there and do whatever the ever I want. Al tell me what he hears over the beat. Same thing with uh, Hit Boy. And these guys, the first time I work with Al, I go to a studio. Same thing, you go to Hit Boy, you go to Chalice, these guys got plaques on the wall. It's like, I'm little old me. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to live up to their expectations. But uh, one feature I'm proud about, Snoop, man. Y'all know Snoop on the album, man. Snoop helped me get at Def Jam and he's on the album. Snoop is my mama's favorite rapper, you understand? Mm -hmm. So when things like that happen, I understand where I'm at in time and what's going on. Because sometimes you, you're so busy working, churning at it, you don't, you don't stop to smell the flowers, you don't realize what's going on, where you at. 
and having a feature from Snoop and the things that he's saying on my record, I realized where I'm at and what's going on. What was the importance of leveling up and stepping to Def Jam because you you were successful independent. Mm -hmm. You made a bunch of money. You running around here, everything's right, family right, change right, the whole, you got the whole aesthetics of a successful artist mm -hmm. and you was independent. So why say I'm going major? Uh, to, honestly, to be more successful. Okay, break that down. To be more successful is that, you know, when these major labels have, have different reach. We're underground, Griselda. Not only underground, but boom bap underground. So that puts us in another dusty corner. Yeah. When I say dusty, I mean the dusty beats, the grimy shit that we're, that we're proud of, that we're built this shit off of. So I wanted, to, I wanted to buy this shit life. You know, you get with these people, you know, they, they bag bigger. No, so they, they got a machine, exactly. a global machine. Global machine. And, and the hustlers that we are, I'm sitting back learning. Everything. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, this is who you're supposed to call. Oh, this is who you're supposed oh, to call. Oh, this is a department? I didn't know you had a, exactly. a VR department. I didn't know you had. Exactly. Like I stood in the kitchen and, 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 and watched my OGs play with that fork. Exactly. I'm, I'm watching Dev Jam play with the fork. That's it. Oh, I watch Wes play with the fork on both ends. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Shout out Wes and Conway. But I'm watching these play with the fork and, and, and seeing the moves that I need to make and maybe seeing the moves that I don't need to make. You know what I'm saying? I'm just paying attention to this shit, and I'm learning and grinding, but I did it because to buy this shit life. To, to, you know, Wes and Conway did it. That's my blueprint. West Side Gun and Conway, those are my blueprints. They did it when they, when they ushered us in with, with Shady, with the what was Sheen gonna do. So I feel like, you know, I'm gonna do my part, go get this major bag, go get this major play, and it's a bigger play for Griselda, and it's a bigger play for Buffalo, Benny the Butcher, and my family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, now, now it's to the point now where it's though, when you look at the game, you checking the game out and everything, it's like, y'all not underground no more. At all, we not. We can keep saying that shit all we want, we not, we not. Y'all not underground no more. It was on Travis Scott album. What? Yeah, y'all the real, y'all out here. Like, y'all got real, like, it's people that's coming, y'all don't, y'all ain't paying for no fees. It's people that's coming, no, can you get on my stuff and I jump right, on right. your stuff? Like, exactly. it ain't, like, they really respecting the art that y'all putting down. Y'all killing them with the merch. I'm talking about y'all doing all vinyl, y'all doing all type of stuff that people didn't even thought exists. Exactly. I'm talking about making serious bags off the merch and building real businesses. Real shit. And y'all laying a blueprint for the youngest that's coming afterwards. Mm -hmm. You know, how do you feel about that? I feel like I, un I understand the opportunity that's in front of me. You understand? Uh, I got my daughter watching me. My daughter, 18. Yeah. And I'm saying my stepdaughter, 25. Mother, stepdaughter, 13. I got these young girls watching me, seeing what I'm doing. Judging me off this shit, you know, we males is very judgmental and they very observant, watching my moves. So it's important, it's, I'm so blessed and thankful that I became a, uh, I became a, uh, I became somebody in my family that they can look up to. Mm -hmm. That's important to me. Cause I didn't have nobody like that in my immediate family. You know what I'm saying? That I could see or pick up the phone and call every day. Mm -hmm. So it's important to me that I became this figure, that we're successful like this, that I can give back to my, took my whole family to Disney World last year, man. That's major. That's major, you know what I'm saying? You know, especially where we from, it's, it's a blessing that I'm able to do them things and, and it means everything to me and it feel good. And, and damn near every day I stop and take 20 seconds and be like, what the f happened? Yeah. Like, like, what are you doing driving this car? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing living in this house? By the grace of God and, and by hard work. I'm gonna say this. Griselda has already won the Super Bowl mm -hmm. for Buffalo. Yes. But is Buffalo Bills gonna win the Super Bowl? <sighs> man, huh. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. And, 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 <laughs> I don't know. Y'all know I'm a diehard Bills fan. You know, we playing Philly. I don't with Philly. I know the Eagles. Eagles. Yeah, Eagles. I would go to I would go to anybody's stadium. I'm not going to Philadelphia. I, yeah, Why? Not, I'm not getting in no scuffle with y'all because I'm a diehard fan and I know y'all the only people to remind me of Bills fans. Mm -hmm. I'm not going there. I'm a, I'm gonna end up getting fucked up, getting to a fight or somebody mm -hmm. up. So I'm just not going. I'm gonna watch it on TV. But Dion, is we gonna win? Josh, is we gonna win? Steph, is we gonna win? That's a question they asking me. I'm asking y'all, is we gonna win? Now listen. At the end of the day. Before we leave, right? Mm -hmm. What message do you got to give, right? Uh -huh. To that cat that's coming up, that's mm -hmm. that's uh, trying to figure out this music shit and don't know, because you said when you got with Gazi and them, mm -hmm. it wasn't no roadmap to this. It wasn't no instructions. You was just like, I mean, when 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 Westside brought you in the game, you was like, right, right. What, so right, what right, advice right. would you give to a young cat? You being an OG now, sprinkling some game on them and just giving them some direction. Uh, stick to the people you can learn from. You know what I'm saying? 
The people you can learn from might not always be the coolest people to hang around. So the f what? Stick to the people you can learn from. Stick to the positive people. You know, when, when I did this, I, I flew from Buffalo to Atlanta. I left all my dope Dylan Robbins still in homies home. I called them, talked to them, let them know, yeah, I'm, doing, I'm in the studio, but you gotta be around positive energy. Sometimes po positive energy is that ain't always fun for us because we knuckleheads. We wanna be doing shit that we ain't supposed to be doing. Be around that positive energy, man. It's, 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 it's a jewel in that positive energy. You know the people who are around you who are doing things, you can tell. Who got the nice car, who got the nice house. You can tell, stick to them. Them niggas can teach you something. Stick to them niggas. You know who, you know who got the stable family, who been taking care of his kids and his wife for years? Stick to him, he got something he can teach you. And you know your other homie who packing that pistol who ain't on nothing. You can stick to him if he wants you, if you want to. You end up being a getaway driver. <laughs> and I'm saying you, you can get conspiracy. A, like, real shit. You know what you need to do. Now, we're grown men. Y'all watching this, y'all grown. Y'all know what y'all need to do. Stick to that positive energy. Discipline is your best friend. No, it's not. No, it's not good. No, it's not fun doing this shit all the time. But who the fuck need fun? We rich. Being rich is fun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what you got to do. Stick to that positive energy, man. It'll help you in the long run. And I'm going to tell y'all like this. Y'all tapped into a real one. Buffalo Zone, Griselda. Um, be on the lookout. You got that big dog out right now because he's a big dog. You know, and he's a big dog because of the work, not because of the change, not because yeah. of the money, yeah. but because of the work and the dedication and the discipline and the resilience to be able to say, you know what, I'm staying 10 toes down, even though I ain't seeing nothing right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need y'all to be on the lookout for everybody can't go. He's stating facts based off of his personal journey. You know, got some big time production, some big time guests. He's not going to, he, he wouldn't even tell me. But it's going down, man. Much love to you, brother. Man, Keep doing you. your Appreciate thing. You. Yes, sir. This is another episode of Where's Wallo with the one, the only, the butcher. Ah. It's going down and it's just like that.